Hi there, this tutorial is setting up GitHub Actions for continuous de deployment for your React app when you're hosting a website on GitHub Pages. I'm on, currently on my personal website, keepyver.ca slash lessons. I'll include this link in the description below. I'll go to the singular website here. Essentially, this tutorial here goes along with this tutorial here. I also have a video that came out last week that explained all this. Essentially, what we do is we set up a React app. Here's the code and here's the actual React app, all hosted on GitHub Pages. Now, in this video, we're going to go through the steps of making this so that every time I push to master, it automatically deploys a new distribution, a distribution uh, file to uh, the GitHub Pages branch so that my website's always up to date with whatever's latest on master. This is relatively simple. It's highly recommended. Uh, GitHub Pages, uh, GitHub Actions is an excellent way to do continuous delivery. GitHub Pages is an excellent way to host a, a static free website. So we we'll, might as well take advantage of both of them. So I'm using this package here. Again, I'll include the link in the description below. Essentially, it allows us to just run a singular command to deploy to GitHub Pages. That command is npm run deploy. And what it does is it takes and creates a build and ships it off to the GH pages branch, which is not here, here, and this is what you're, you're viewing on this page. So if you don't have this repository set up, follow the video, you essentially download this code, copy it over to your own repository, literally run npm uh, install, npm run deploy, and, at, sorry, and you'll have to update the package.json. After you do all that, you should be hosted here. Now, we're going to set up so that when I head over to Actions here, it will, it will run a workflow. So with that, it's fairly simple. I've also included all the code uh, in the description below. Start by opening up your terminal. You backspace all of this. The first command, you're, we're going to create a workflow. So just create a directory for your workflow. So it's the .github slash workflows. And in there, I'm going to call it master underscore deploy. Open up your code. I'm using Atom. I have it here. As you can see, my new .github folder is here. Master deploy is too. If I went to go run this here, let me, I'll just start by explaining this. If I went to go run this, it will actually fail. And the reason why it will fail is because it needs to reclone the repository when it's doing the N npm run deploy. So you can't just simply go with this. So we're actually going to scroll through. What you need to do is you have to create a personal access token. And then you have to pass that personal access token in as uh, so that you can clone the repository. So as you can see, we set up a username, which is yourself. Then you uh, set your remote URL to be to clone the repository, and then you run the npm run deploy. So this is actually going to be the one we run. But we're going to actually have one modification. And it's going to be for the uh, for a, it's going to be an advantage. So we're going to start. I'm just going to explain this. So every time you push to the master branch, this job will execute. We're using a Ubuntu container. We're running with Node version 10. It starts by running checkout. You could run. You can. It sets up the Node version, and then you can put in your testing and things like that below. I'm doing npm install, and then it's going to run the deploy to GitHub Pages steps. Next, the one step we're going to add is we're going to use secrets here instead of entering them manually. And same with the Git, uh, personal access token. In GitHub Actions, the way you can use secrets is by, let's remove this, do dollar sign, open, open, curly brace, and then you say secrets, and then dot, and then the secret name. So this is looking for my email. So I'm just going to do uppercase so I can show that's kind of a constant. Now I'm going to say GitHub email. Back this one up. Now this one's going to be my username, so same thing, GitHub username. This one's going to be my personal access token. So I can't, I'm actually going to get rid of all these extra spaces. So GitHub pers personal token. This is going to be my username. This is going to be my repository, this last bit. 
but I know it's demo react github pages. I don't really need to put in there. I don't even have to put my username in here either or my email. I just, I might as well. So now we're going to just go in and create, um, actually we're going to start with, no, before we do that, we're going to create a personal access token and then we're going to go back and add the secrets. So to create a personal access token, head over to GitHub. If you go to your username and then go to settings here, I'm going to open up in a new tab. You should see your profile. Scroll down to developer settings. And then on the left, personal access tokens. And you can say generate new token. You have to enter your password. I'm going to say give access to the repo. Demo one, I'm just going to call this. Let's scroll down, generate token. So I'm just going to copy this. I realize I don't actually have what I need open, but that's fine. Just to make sure I don't lose my clipboard. Head back to your repository. Head to settings. On the left, you see you might see secrets. Add new secret, and then I'm going to paste mine so I don't lose it. And I'm just going to say GitHub personal access token. I don't know if that's correct. If I went too fast there, just pause the video and catch up. Let me just verify that I, that's the right one. Oh, I see personal token. I'll change it here. I'll just save that. I now have to add this. So I'm just going to say add secret. So essentially, you're going to repeat the same steps, but this time for your username and your email. I'm not going to show you these steps. Okay, at this point, you should have your GitHub email, GitHub personal access token, and GitHub username. Uh, just to make sure I was clear, you have to have your email under the GitHub email, not the personal access token they created here and the username under here. So now that we have that all set up, we're going to push our code up, our work, new workflow up to the master branch, the remote repository, and it should automatically run the GitHub Actions. To see that whether or not our changes take effect, we're actually going to modify one file. So I'll head back over to Adam, head to app.js, and just say, I'm just going to throw a 2 behind the hello world here. I'm going to go back to my terminal, I'm going to say git status, you'll see my new github.github .github folder, and my change on the app.js, app I'm going to say git add all, I'm going to say added made change, and added github. I'm going to do a git push. And remember, in the workflow, it said GitHub pushes to master. It'll automatically trigger it. So if I now head over, refresh my page here, you'll see my new folder. If I head to actions, my master deploy CI pipeline, I can click that. So it's using node version 10. I'll head to my React app just to show you beforehand. So here, I can refresh that page. It's hello world. So it's in, it's installing the packages. So it's deploying doing the deploy to GitHub pages. Okay, it's all done. It's been successful. I'm just going to head back over to my React app. I'm going to do Command Shift R, which refreshes the page with cache. Um, it didn't take effect. Let's just see if it might take a second. Let's try that again. Maybe if I open up an incognito browser, still nothing. Well, my, it says publish, so I think it's just time that it's going to take. So I'm going to try that again. Command Shift R. No way. Command Shift R. There we go. I knew it was just time. All right. So you can see the 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 changes take a few um, about a minute to take effect, but they do come through. This is kind of perfect when you know you're working. Uh, let's say you're building out a 
blog and you write your new blog and you just push it to master and it deploys out to your static website. That's just one example of using GitHub Actions with GitHub Pages here. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe. I come out with a new video every Wednesday.